welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. It's good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Got a good one for you today. We're going to get into uh, J.C. Ramirez against Arnold Barbosa in what should be a really, really, really interesting fight. A really good fight. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight showing how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing um wow just lost. Uh, guys join the patreon that's what i'm trying to get at link is in the description it's also in that little ticket below just five dollars a month gets you the absolute best gambling advice uh just five dollars a month gets you the absolute best gambling advice it gets you asked to bookie anything it gets you uh the lock of the week it gets you a request a video it gets you the updated props it gets you all the best gambling advice uh for just five dollars a month just five dollars a month also head on over to carnivorebar.com that is carnivorebar.com the nutrition of a steak the convenience of a bar i uh, use promo code Boxing at checkout to save five percent. Use promo code Boxing uh, to save five percent. At some point, to save ten percent at checkout. Use promo code Boxing to save ten percent over at CarnivalBar.com. On the move nutrition without compromise. Use promo code Boxing to save ten percent at checkout. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Uh, Ramirez, good inside fighter, <clears throat> southpaw, gets on the inside, slips well. Uses head movement, uh, can slip, can get on the inside, works well on the inside. He's got a full array of, of punches on the inside, hooks, uppercuts. He's skilled on the inside. Excellent timing. He throws with good volume. He has pretty good power, decent power, which we saw like in the hooker fight, for example. Um, can slip and slide well. He can box from the outside to get himself onto the inside, but he wants to be on the inside for sure. He gets hit too much in his recent fights, but he got a very, very durable chin. In his last couple of fights, he's been hit a little more uh, than, than you would like, but he's got really nice short punches on, on the inside. He's got great feet. He works his angles really, really well, and then he keeps the punches coming. Uh, he can switch hit. Uh, he's conventional, but he can switch hit. Uh, he can fight out of the southpaw stance as well he's a terrific body puncher uh decent skills slips you know decent power mixes up head and body mixes up his shots extremely well he's got a little decent little bounce to his step he's not unathletic he's not hyper athletic but he's not unathletic he's got a little bounce to his step he's got a little nice little rhythm to him he patiently stalks with his jab, and then once he gets on the inside, he just keeps chopping away. Uh, the volume is good. The, the, the relentlessness is good. He mixes up shots really well. He works his angles. He gets in and out on you. Um, you can see uh, there's a little bit of decline, though. Just in his last couple of fights, there's a little bit of nothing drastic. He's not totally washed. I just think that perhaps his absolute best days are a little bit behind him, uh, but he's still a top-notch fighter that does a lot of things well. He still has... Good skills, good athleticism, good feet, does does things well, and he's still a formidable guy at 140. Uh, Arnold Barbosa Jr., pretty basic front foot boxer puncher. Front foot behind the high guard. He stays behind the high guard, picks up shots with his arms and his elbows. A little bit sloppy footwork. is off balance at times. I've, I've noticed that. Not a high volume guy. He's very selective with his shots. Uh, he struggles with a good jab. If you can really pump out a good jab, you can have him because he just kind of shells up and, and blocks shots. Uh, he uses a lot of feints, and he's not a big hitter, right? So he's not really throwing in high volume. He's fainting, 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 and he, he doesn't have a ton of pop behind it. So he might be – he could have trouble getting on the inside with good fighters. Decent speed, uh, decent timing. He's pretty accurate from the outside, but he's not very busy. He doesn't have a ton of pop. It doesn't have a great jab, not a ton of head movement or lateral movement. Um, it's just kind of straight in and straight out on you. I like to see more catching and shooting. A lot of times he just, just catches them. Uh, more catch and shoot would be a little good. Uh, but he's pretty good at picking off shots. He can be, when, when, when he shells up and just wants to block shots from the outside, he's pretty good at it. He can be a little bit difficult. Um to catch clean that way. Nice counter shots. Uh, he's a good counter puncher, but a lot of it's one punch at a time. 
Uh, but he's pretty crisp, pretty clean with his counter shots. Uh, he stays in position to block shots, and he's defensively responsible. He is defensively responsible. Like I said, he's pretty basic. His fundamentals are down. He, he's not a bad fighter. I just don't see anything special about him. Uh, he may have hard a hard time winning rounds with Ramirez if Ramirez is able to get on the inside and just outwork him and hustle him. So I, I'm leaning towards Ramirez in this fight. Um, it's kind of my, my inkling on this. So I would call... Let me get this up for you guys. Is this fight, did they take this down? Where, 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 where is this fight? All right, we're just going to have to use another book then. If they took the fight. Do you guys see the fight here? No, they took it down, all right? I'm not, I'm not bugging here. Well, that's annoying as heck. Hang on. One second. Hang on. Let's uh let's take a break. I will be right back. All right, guys. I got this on FanDuel. I don't know why they took it off of DraftKings. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we're on DraftKings here. Uh I like Ramirez uh on the money line, but I mostly like the fight to go the distance. I like this bet. Um we can look at Ramirez on points too. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at that. So Ramirez, for the fight to go the distance, is paying minus 240. I think that's a safe bet. I would make that my large wager. I would bet my standard bet, in this case, $100, to make 4167 I like that bet. Ramirez, Barbosa, fight to go the distance, $100 bet, 4167 The other two bets I like quite a bit is uh, Jose uh, Carlos Ramirez at minus 196 a, uh, a $50 bet. I would make that a, a, a smaller bet to go 25-51. I like Ramirez to win the fight. I think Ramirez wins the fight, but I'm not 100% count. Yeah, you can make that your standard bet. You know what? You could do that. $100 bet is going to make you $51. So it's basically 2-1 to one, uh, in, in favor of Ramirez. A bet I like a lot, too, that you might want to bet on is Ramirez um, <clears throat> to win by points. I like that bet a lot. Uh, that's paying plus money. So the, the, the bet that I would make, the, the biggest bet that I would make is Ramirez Barbosa for the fight to go the distance. I would also bet on Ramirez to win. Uh, if you want to, you can take Ramirez by decision uh, to, uh, to get plus money at plus 115. But the bets that I would make are quite simple. Uh, really take uh, the fight to go the distance at minus 240 and Ramirez to uh Win on the money line, minus 240, minus 196. In this case, a $200 bet would make you about $100. Basically, bringing your odds down to about 2 to 1. It would make you 93.69, I believe. Uh, so those are the bets that I like. Ramirez money line, uh, fight to go the distance. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just five dollars a month gets the absolute best gambling advice in the world. It gets you asked to book anything. The lock of the week, which is out already. Come join today. Get the lock of the week. It's not too late. Uh, gets you the updated props. It gets you everything. So five dollars a month. Head on over to Patreon.com. Uh, it is November fifteenth, twenty twenty four, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.